Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is the second video of my fast API block tutorial series. If you haven't watched the previous video, I would highly recommend you to go and watch that video so that you get a concise idea as to what we are going to be building uh, moving forward. Now without wasting any time, let us get started with the coding. Now I have this directory fast API hyphen globe wherein I'll install virtual environment using pip env install. While I'm at it, I'll install some dependencies. You don't have to install this. I'm installing this because I'll be using NeoBeam as a text editor. And for linting and everything else, I need these dependencies. Otherwise, all you need to issue is pip env install. Now that optional dependencies are installed, let us start with installing the actual dependencies that we will be needing. But before that, we need to activate the virtual environment first. To do that, issue this command ppnv shell and it will log us into virtual environment. Now let us start with installing fast API and Ubicon web server. To do that, we will issue this command ppnv install fast API and Ubicon. Now that both of our dependencies are installed, create another directory called app because we will be needing separate folders for our application and for our database. Now we'll change the directory to the app directory and we'll create files namely init.py and main.py. Now open main.py and that's where we will be writing our code. Now we'll start writing the code. First of all, we'll need fast API class itself. So we'll import it using from fast API import fast API class. And subsequently, we'll, we will need to instantiate the class to do that, um, I'll create a variable app and assign it to fast API class. Now that we have fast API class, we'll start with building our first route. If you remember uh, from the previous video, we had three routes or routes, whatever you call it. To do that, we'll need a decorator app and HTTP request along with it. In this case, our first route will be accepting get requests and the root will be posts. Uh, if you don't understand this, uh, just stick to it. I'll explain what this path and everything is. And then we will create a function, read underscore posts. It will take nothing as a parameter and it will return, say posts and maybe a list first post and this is a simple fast API application that we can build now let's dissect it if you notice we have our decorator first the decorator is the application or the app variable itself which is uh, an object of fast API class now the method that it will be accepting is of get method, get HTTP method. And this method will take path as an argument. Now say for example, your domain name is hello.com for example. Whatever you will pass inside of parentheses will be considered like this. In this case, we have forward slash posts. So our end path would be like this. So this is what you will have to enter there whatever you want after your domain name. Now what happens is that whenever you visit this particular route, it will return whatever is there in the written dictionary. Remember that we are working with APIs. So whatever we return should be a JSON object. In this case, we have a dictionary. To run the server, all you need to do is to issue this command uvcorn uvcorn then the name of the file so in this case it's main and name of the class uh, that we used to instantiate oh, sorry the name of the variable in this case it was app right and that's all you need 
as soon as you issue this command it will start uvcon server at port number 8000 now if you remember we will be using postman to test our api copy this entire url and paste it over here and click on send as you can see we get our api back as json format this is the same let me go back to my code editor this is the same as this dictionary a written dictionary this is simple fast api application that you can build this was to get all the posts from the database now what if you want to get an individual database using maybe an id now let's start with creating that you again specify the decorator it will be accepting get http method the root will be the same but in addition to that we'll need an id why because we want to get an individual post and how does fast api identify which post you want to get using an id to do that you open curly braces and you write whatever parameter you want in this case i'll be calling it posts underscore id now what is this say for example your domain name is hello and your path is posts now whatever you give after the slash that will be your post id in this case our post id will be one i hope that makes sense okay now that we have created our decorator let's write a function for that so read post now remember we haven't brought posts because this will be a singular post or individual post since we have something other than the static path we need to pass it as a function parameter it will be same as whatever you entered in inside of curly braces so posts id right now by convention id is always an integer but we'll see how to handle that we'll say return post and posts id oh sorry post id let's write post id okay and let me start again uvcon server there we go now again this is a gate post method because we have specified dot get method in the decorator now as soon as i hit send it will print post and whatever is there after the path if i say hello here it will print hello here whatever you say if i pass 100 it will pass 100 oh sorry it will give us 100 back i hope this is making sense now as i have said earlier ids are usually integer type so you want to restrict the use okay so to do that we'll use python's type ending Okay. to restrict the data type all you need to do is write colon after your argument and write whatever data type you want in this case we want it to be an integer it's kind of like how you specify data type in typed languages say for example java or c or c plus plus let me fire up our uvcon server again now something interesting will happen this time if i say 100 it will give us 100 back but if you notice there is no curly braces this time it's all integer if i pass one and send the request it will give me one but as an integer not as a string however if i say hello in there 
it will give me an error what is the error value is not a valid integer it was expecting an integer why because now we have explicitly said it to take an integer we have row two endpoints we want to write the final one the third one according to the first video that is to get data from the user as of now we are only sending the data from the server to client now we want client to send the data to server usually this kind of request is handled by post http request so we'll write decorator for that and this time around we'll use post request and the path again will keep it the same as the first one posts that is where uh, everyone is sending the request and let's write a function for that so def create post now this will take post as an argument since this is a post data it won't be coming through a url so you don't have to write it in the decorator you can just write it in your argument only and you will return whatever you send there and let me fire up our ubicon web server and there we have our first endpoint but that accept post http method you use the same url as the first one but instead of get request you choose post request and in the body section of postman you write the json okay in this case we need a title and a body and let me send the request now this is interesting so we get field required error now that is because we haven't specified the schema for our data so let us define our schema first to define schema fast api will install a package called pydentic it's used to validate data but for the purpose of this video we'll use it to specify the schema as to what this post uh, that we are passing into create post method is supposed to accept right so from pi dentic i want to import a base model now let us create a schema first to create a schema all you need to do is create a class with the name of the thing that you will be getting so in this case we'll be getting post so i'll create a class post and it will inherit from base model now we only want two data first the first one is title and the second one is body so title and it will be of type string and body again it will be of type string that's it this is the most simple schema that you can have okay now we need to make some modification so this post is now of type post you can think of it like in the previous example the post id was of type integer this is the same thing but now the type is post class or the post schema now if we run the ubicon web server again it should give us whatever you have passed as a response as you can see whatever we passed in the request we get it as a response let me change data for you second post it will give a second post back however if you notice the status code is 200 it's a standard practice whenever you send post request if the request is successful you should get 201 instead of 200 fast api gives a pretty elegant solution to handle that go to your uh, decorator 
and in the decorator we need to give an argument status status code and the code for that so in this case it will be 201 let me again start uicon web server and when i send request this time it would give us status code 201 that is created now again you would have to remember each and every of them so as long as you remember it's created there is a shortcut method for that as well we need to import status from fast api status code and instead of 201 we'll write uh, i guess it's status so let me change that status and it will give us a list of all the available status code that, that are there again it will do the same thing for us it will give us 201 back so this was it for our first video we have created three endpoints the first one was a gate endpoint the second one was again gate endpoint but that takes a parameter and the third endpoint is essentially the first one but it takes post method now in the next video we'll extend the same application and we'll store data in memory so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one subscribe to this channel and like the video if you like the video and share it among your friends. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.